talking about investments, it's important to look at the following indicators to date statistical data for nine months of 2021 has been published. Compared to 2020, there was an increase in investment by 50% in 2021, amounted to almost 19 billion US dollars. Growth of FDI into Republic of Kazakhstan was observed from almost all top 10 country investors. For example, FDI inflow from the Netherlands increased, from US, from Switzerland, Russia, China, and others. There was a significant growth in almost all industries. For instance, growth in the manufacturing industry, trade, education, and healthcare amounted more than 50%. It must be admitted that the recent events have caused a serious blow to the image of Kazakhstan. To date, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, jointly with Kazakh Invest National Company, are conducting a full-scale explanatory work among the investment community and mass media. All foreign institutions of Republic of Kazakhstan, which are our uh, embassies, consulates, and also our Kazakh Invest representatives all engage in this work. There are already uh, uh, hotline calls with the existing investors. We talk to each investor individually and provide all relevant information on events and situation in the country. In general, we communicate with the investment community through all possible communication channels, which are telephone calls, emails, messengers, and social networks. In addition, there is a hotline, which I mentioned on phone number 62620, in order to provide prompt assistance and resolve all emerging <coughs> problematic issues as soon as possible. For example, in the state of emergency, there is a ban on the production of use and transportation of explosives. However, in order to maintain the volumes of coal shipments to the energy producing enterprises of the Republic of Kazakhstan, it was necessary to use explosives and open at open cast mines. Therefore, the delivery of explosives to the regions of the country was ensured in order to guarantee uninterrupted supplies of coal from the investors to energy producing enterprises. There are a number of dialogue platforms for investors, starting with the major ones chaired by his Excellency President, such as the Foreign Investors Council, and other which is chaired by the Prime Minister, the in Council of uh, Investment, where specific investor projects and their problematic issues are considered. The objectives of the Investment Council are to develop recommendations and proposals for projects being developed in the territory of Republic of Kazakhstan. It's necessary to mention that all obligations and guarantees of the state to investors will be fulfilled in full after the transfer of the functions for the implementation of investment policy to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, concluding investment contracts was transferred to the online format in order to reduce bureaucracy, which made it possible to reduce the time for filling and reviewing applications. As a result, the number of concluded investment contracts almost tripled compared to 2018. And we can say that 
In 2021, we signed 85 contracts worth to 572 billion tenge. All conditions and obligations given by the government will be fulfilled, and it should be noted that these obligations are mutual, which means that the investor will also have to fulfill its obligations to implement investment projects on time with the involvement of advanced technologies and creation of permanent jobs. Also, the head of state noted that there is a need to develop a new concept to improve the investment policy and climate of the country. At the moment, the concept is being developed by the Ministry of National Economy with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, taking into account all the requirements and principles of ESG, which implies the environmental friendliness of the project, the uh, social res responsibility and high quality corporate governance. The draft concept will be presented to the government consideration and if approved, it will be implemented as early as next month. The concept focuses on attracting investment in the development of new technologies, green and renewable energy, manufacturing, agriculture, pharmaceuticals, and other priority sectors. We also carry out this uh, work in other uh, fields. For example, we do analysis and prepare a specific investment proposals for the investors every year. For example, uh, last year we prepared about 70 investment proposals for the investors. And this year we're also aiming to prepare the same amount of proposals. As a result, last year we implemented 57 investment projects worth to 3.8 billion US dollars. And starting from 2019, it was 40 projects. In 2020, it was 41 projects implemented. We all understand the negative impact that the events in January had on the image of Kazakhstan. However, we are confident that all measures announced by His Excellency President to stabilize the socio-economic situation and other mechanisms will provide a positive effect on restoring confidence in the country and increasing the number of investors. These measures include maintaining inflation between 3 to 4 percent, reviewing the structure and activities of the quasi-public sector, decreasing bureaucratization, uh, and reviewing the process of privatization of the state assets. We are confident that all this will help to retain existing investors avoid freezing the launch of ongoing projects and increase the number of new ones.